So welcome to your new reality. The telephone, social media, web-based meetings, right behind this, I think we're less than two years away, virtual reality, so cool what I'm looking at right now. We'll literally be able to do this conference two years from now, I'll be in New York and you'll be aware of every, and we'll be still be in a room and I'll be standing here and you'll be sitting down, but guess what? You'll be in your kitchen or you'll be in your office. And so do you think those skills communicating through virtual reality is gonna take a different skill set on how to present? Absolutely. But communication is still communication. You just have to learn how to transfer it through the medium that you are communicating through. So just remember, you are the single most powerful person living today. You are. Because you're responsible for your world. Nobody can think for you. Nobody is going to change your life but you. Nobody is going to help you survive the challenges that your life faces but you. You have that responsibility to you. And you don't want to trust me with it or that person or that person. What I love about this profession, when you master it, is that you don't need anybody. You are self-sufficient. You can take a seven-digit phone number and a relationship with people who have no idea who you are and you can translate it into revenue. That's a skill everybody needs. And the techniques that you will learn are going to give you that power. There's a formula for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to start baking our sales process the way that McDonald's makes hamburgers. Okay, so who here can make a hamburger better than McDonald's? Raise your hand. All right, let's do this one. Who can't make a hamburger better than McDonald's? <laughs> Definitely don't want me over your house. Right, so if the hamburger, right, they sell more hamburgers, or they used to anyway, I know they're having some little financial problems, but if everybody can make a better hamburger than McDonald's, and that's their core business, what's the genius, because it's not the hamburger, what's the genius of McDonald's? The billions that they do, yeah, that's pretty cool, but it's not the genius. That's it. It's consistency. Do you want fries with that? Do you want fries with that? Excellent, okay. But it is consistency, right? So what they do is they find what works and they do it over and over and over again. So if you get a hamburger in New York or you get a hamburger in Hong Kong or a hamburger in Idaho, it's the same hamburger. Are there any cheeseburger fans out there? What color is the cheeseburger wrapper? Yellow. There you go, you know it. If you close your eyes, you can actually visualize what the cheese looks like overflowing the, the, the hamburger. And I bet you most of us haven't even had a cheeseburger in a long time, yet you still can taste it. That's how consistent they are. And they use the same process with their training, with the way they develop real estate, with the way that they pick their menu, the way they frame their buildings. They just find what works and they do it over and over again. So what we need to do is we need to create a model that bakes sales the same way. So it becomes very predictable, very repeatable, and very consistent. Now, I'm going to give you the framework of the model. You just need to insert your business. You need to insert your references, your testimony. You need to insert your features and benefits. But the model that I'm going to give you works. And it works when I first started out in healthcare. Nobody ever thought that I could make it in healthcare because I have absolutely zero background in healthcare. So I said, OK, well, what's the easiest thing that I could sell? And believe it or not, it was Ziploc bags. Right? So you can imagine, I did drop out of college. I know my mom's very proud of that. And then, and plus, and, you know, she paid all this kind of money for, for me to go. And uh, I come back from this decision to leave. And my first job is going to be, you know, that, that I'm really going to do well with is going to be selling Ziploc bags. Uh, what did Daddy say about when I was going to sell Ziploc bags? I don't even want to repeat it. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, it was not nice. It wasn't good. I mean, it was like, you, I spent, I mean, I was the first Spur duty in, in our house that was going to go to college and graduate. And I just dropped out because 
I'm going to be the king of the Ziploc bag. Right? So you can imagine what, that, what, what he went through there. But I knew in my heart of hearts, I was a communications major. And I learned, I used to do really well in my communications classes, but I was terrible in everything else because I was so not interested in the other stuff. And so I knew that I, could, I was selling my way through different telemarketing jobs that I could do really well, and that sales was an all commissions job. So I didn't need a salary, I didn't need to impress anybody. I knew I could generate revenue on my own, so I just needed to get into healthcare because I figured once I get in, they're not gonna be able to stop me. So I started with Ziploc bags. And why Ziploc bags? It's what they use to transport medication in hospital pharmacy. And they come in clear and writing block where the doctor can write it. They have amber bags to protect the bags from the sunlight. They have waste bags. And so our mission was to sell Ziploc bags. And literally, we were dropping millions down to the bottom line selling Ziploc bags, just using the same thing that I'm gonna teach you today. Now, I also used the same approach when I sold my company to Invicare. Anybody hear of Invicare? The, the, now, the Invicare, they are, is Nick here, by the way? I'm expecting Nick to be here later on. Um, Invicare now is going through their own re-engineering, right? It used to be Invicare, when we first got into this business, they were the brand. I sold my company to Mal and Jerry Blount. And, man, when I got into this space, Invicare was it. I mean, he founded, Mal founded this business with Van Miller of VGM. I was fortunate enough to know both of them, and to study with both of them, and to do business with both of them. And what I can tell you is that now those, those practices and all those people, they're reformulating as well. And so everybody, and the good news is, is everybody's in the same boat. We're functioning at a time and place right now where the speed of change is crazy. So you can't stop learning, you can't stop growing, you can't stop adapting. Part of your job, both as an individual and as a manager, is making sure that people are changing with the times. And so training is not something you're gonna do once a year. It literally has to be every month. You have to make time because otherwise you're gonna get lost in the sauce and you're gonna end up being, remember that company. 